All right. Hey guys, Brent at Millimeter USA here, and today's video is going to be a comparison between this Alchemy Custom Weaponry Quantico and a Nighthawk Custom. I wonder what Nighthawk is in this bag. I wonder if it's a Nighthawk that some claim that we didn't own. It's interesting how people lie on the internet and spread false rumors and all of that. But anyway, there's just some rubes out there that, you know, think that they know better, but really they don't know jack shit. Here's sale number 20. Haven't seen it in four years, right? That's because it's been sitting in the back of a safe, just waiting to get some love again. So uh, here it is. Fun fact from living in Oregon. This is just harping on it again. The whole claiming that we don't own this gun. In Oregon, you literally cannot borrow someone's gun. It is illegal to borrow someone's gun unless they are present. So yeah, you literally can't even borrow a gun in Oregon. So again, for people to claim that we're doing videos on stuff that isn't ours, that's just hilarious to me. So anyway, as usual, you know, we're just keeping it to the facts, you guys, telling the truth. Some people out there, especially people that prefer this brand, may not be able to handle this comparison because I have checked out this gun and I will tell you it whoops this gun's ass and you're going to see why. Anyway, enjoy the video. First thing to cover, comparing these two, let's cover the safeties. I love this GI style, teardrop style safety on this Thunder Ranch, Nighthawk. Wow. That's how a safety should be fit, guys. Now let's take a look at this. That ain't bad, but it's definitely not as tight, guys. How's it feel from this side? It feels looser. It feels like there's not as much effort you have to put into it. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to put it out there. It feels good. Trigger. Not bad. Not a bad reset. A little heavier trigger on this compared to the Nighthawk. Better reset. Yeah and a better trigger on the Nighthawk compared to the ACW. Oh, this is a big thing, and this is the main thing that's gonna really piss off some people. So, talking about the sensitivity of the grip safety here. Again, it's a custom gun, you guys. If you're paying custom money, you should be getting the little niceties that come along with you spending all that money on a custom firearm. Talking about everything to be blended properly, talking about everything to be sensitized and tuned properly. So here's how sensitized this grip safety is. Right there. You see that? So I'm gonna press it. Boom. That's how a custom gun should be fit as far as the beaver tail sensitivity. Now, in comparison to this, this is not even one of the worst ones. This is, I would say, middle of the pack, and that's 70% to 80% activation before the trigger will work. And again, there you go. So, yeah, this thing has to be pressed all the way in pretty much to get activation from that trigger. I don't think that's right, especially when you're spending this kind of money on a custom firearm. One of the reasons why the Nighthawk is so much more professionally put together is because of Nighthawk's way that they do things. It's the one gunsmith, one gun mindset. So one guy, one pistol smith goes over the entire gun from start to finish as far as creating masterpiece. Again, this is serial number 20. Still have my Gen 2 Thunder Ranch and Brady Singer has his Gen 1 Thunder Ranch Les Bear. So we have all three of the Thunder Ranches, you know, in different variations. Everything's just perfectly fit here on the Nighthawk. They really do an outstanding job on the Nighthawk with attention to detail. Alchemy, if you guys seen the videos, you know that that's not so much the case. They even messed up their top of the line prime charcoal blue gun that we bought from them. So yeah, their uh, quality control and QA is not on top at all. I think that as far as the custom, quote unquote custom makers, these guys are near the bottom. You know what I'm saying? That's our experience anyway. And, uh, you know, again, this is gonna piss off some people, but it's the facts, guys. When you spend uh, as much money that we did on these guns and then having the kind of issues that we've had out of this company, you guys wouldn't be happy either. Go ahead and test out the triggers real fast on these, because I'm wondering. The Nighthawk, what it's gonna pull out. Four, four, and I definitely was a little rough on that, so I'm thinking it's either four or three and a half. Let's find out. Four, probably yeah and on the other side of things the Quantico let's try it one more time the 
little heavier, a little bit crappier trigger, not as positive. I think my overall worst complaint on this gun though, honestly, is this. I absolutely cannot stand the way how they blended this. It just looks terrible and it does not feel good. It's not smooth, guys. So again, attention to detail on the alchemy, it ain't good, okay? Real quick, we'll cover some of the features that this gun does have. It has G10 grips, also so does Nighthawk right here. Front strap, back strap, fully done. This does have a one-piece magwell. The magwell is pretty shoddy on this. It's the lack of consistency that is the problem at Alchemy. And again, you know, when you've bought as many that we have and ran into as many issues as we did, somebody's gotta say something, you guys. Otherwise, you know, these issues aren't gonna get remedied and they're not gonna improve the quality of their firearm. They've gotta up the quality of their firearms to represent the price point that they're commanding. You've got ball cuts on this, you've got an adjustable rear sight, gold beads on both pistols. As far as which gold bead looks better, the uh, Nighthawk definitely looks a little more bright, that gold bead front sight, but slightly thicker bead on the uh, Alchemy compared to the Nighthawk. Both pistols will ship with two mags. The Nighthawk will come with these magazines. I have no idea who makes them for them, to be honest. They look like some Checkmate mags. Price points, I think for what you're paying for the Alchemy, it's not worth it. Quality wise, I think you're getting a step up with the Nighthawks over the Alchemies. So again, if you're interested in picking up one of these, my suggestion would be to go the route of the one gun, one gunsmith, where it's gonna be done right. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys have a good one. And remember, your second amendment is worth protecting.